Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to talk to you about how to build a landing page, sometimes called a squeeze page, and sometimes called a lead capture page because that's the purpose of a squeeze page. It's a place for you to capture leads into your mailing list or at the beginning of your sales funnel, which is what it's sometimes called. A sales funnel is just a series of web pages you take people through in order to um, get them to take action provide their email address, phone number, or purchase your product. And it usually begins, that funnel usually begins with a lead capture page or a squeeze page. And I'm going to show you how that works in conjunction with 90 Second Website Builder. Of course, to have that kind of a funnel system, first you'll need a way to build a couple of web pages, which is what 90 Second Website Builder does. You're also going to need a lead capture and follow-up system. That's called an autoresponder system or an autoresponder service. The one I'm going to be using in this video is from a company called Aweber and I recommend them. I've been with them for years and Aweber is a good one. It's one of the top autoresponder providers. Another good one would be GetResponse at GetResponse.com but you may know of some others like MailChimp and there are several others that all have similar costs and similar services. The two things you're going to be building with your 90 second website builder are the squeeze page and then what's called a thank you page or a success page. So the way the funnel works is you're going to send people to a website, a web page that allows them to offer their name and email or just their email address or their phone number, whatever it is you're trying to capture into a form. That form puts the person on your mailing list, your emailing subscriber list. This page is something you're going to be designing in 90 Second Website Builder. In fact, we have a lot of landing page templates for this very reason. And in fact, in this picture, you're looking at one of them. Your landing page, your squeeze page, is what entices your potential lead or your potential customer to want to surrender their information so that they can get the promise that's at the other end of this funnel. So we might promise them a free download of an ebook, or we might promise them a free video or some other information that they're going to get in exchange for signing up onto your list. When someone fills out the form on your squeeze page, then you're taking them someplace else. Where they'll go is a place called a confirmation page. And this is actually not something that you'll be creating with 90 Second Website Builder. This is something that is provided by your autoresponder service because they're the ones that actually provide that form that you put on your web page that will come from your autoresponder service. I'm going to show you in a minute how to get the code for that form pasted onto your web page. So when someone fills out that form, in my case, Aweber provides this page. This page provides them with information to go check their email, to go to their inbox, so that they can get the email and click the link. So they go from here to a confirmation email. So when they open up their email, there'll be a link in there that says, thanks for subscribing, click here to continue, or click here to get what you were promised. It's the link in that email that takes them to the other page that you will have designed in your software. And that page is called the success page or the thank you page. So what they've done is kind of a four step process. They opted into your mailing list and clicked a button. That button took them to a confirmation page that says go check your email. That email that they get sent, it has a link in it that takes them to your success page. Now the reason for all those steps is because when you're capturing someone's name and address, you want to be sure that they're really the person that did it. It's called double opt-in. Most autoresponder services are going to require you or at least highly encourage you to use this double opt-in system so that it reduces the amount of spam that people could get. In other words, you don't want people signing up other people on mailing lists. That's all this does. So it actually sounds more complicated than it is, but really you're just doing two things in your web design software, building two pages, the opt-in page, and then the success page. And even the important part of that opt-in page, that form, comes from your autoresponder service. So let's move on and look at what it takes to build those two pages. Not only the success page, but the initial squeeze page or lead capture page as well. So now we find ourselves in 90 Second Website Builder where we will have developed our lead capture page. It's that initial page we want them to go to. And you can see that I've got everything designed already. This is actually a template that's part of the 90 Second Website Builder membership area and there's several templates like this. You could use those if you want to or make your own. But the part that we need is this form. 
This is the part that's missing because we have to get that from our autoresponder service. So I'm going to log into my Aweber account and go get that. So here I am in Aweber. You may be using a different autoresponder service, GetResponse, MailChimp, etc. Any of them are going to provide you with a similar interface that we're looking at right here. This is the place where we would design the form because remember the form that goes on our website is going to come from the autoresponder service. This form is part of what they're providing because it all ties in to their database where you're managing your subscribers and your mailing list. I've already designed a form here. It's very plain on purpose and you'll see why here in a minute. It's basically just two boxes. I've got a name box and I've got an email box and then a red button that says get started now. Now I've made the text white because that's going to work better on my page. So I thought about that and I planned ahead. I know I want to put this form on a dark background and so that's why I've chosen it to be like this. In most cases, they have hundreds and hundreds of templates you can choose from and you can design the form to look the way you want it to look. Very easy to do, but again, you do that at your autoresponder service. And in the case of Aweber, once we've designed our form, it's just a matter of going to get our code. So we're going to save the form that we designed and move on to the next step. This step is actually where I'm telling Aweber what kind of confirmation page I want because remember they provide that and I like to use what's called the smart video version. And then we go on to step three, which is to get the code. Now the way Aweber does it, it gives you a couple of options. It gives you a JavaScript snippet which is fine to use, or the raw HTML version. Now, I like to use the raw HTML version uh, for technical reasons I won't go into, but you can use either one, but I'm going to be using the HTML snippet of code. Now, this is really a lot of code. You don't even need to know what it means. All you need to do is copy it, because all you're going to do is paste it into your website. So, so far, all we've done is we've created a form at the autoresponder service, and we've generated the code for that form. So all I'm doing is copying it, I'm doing a control C right now. And so now I've got a copy of this code. So now that we're back in 90 second website builder, I need to put that code on my web page so that the form will be where I want it. And you'll see, I left this dark blue area for my form and you'll see why now I chose white text for my form because I put it in a dark area. So here's how we put that code in there. I'm going to go over to the tools. And under the toolbox, there's a tool called HTML. Very, very simple to do. I'm just going to draw a box out here, double click on it, and paste in that code that we copied. Doing a control V right now, and I pasted in all of that code. Click OK. You'll notice in the design mode, we can't see what that looks like. It's just HTML code. So it's hard to imagine what that looks like unless we preview. And this is part of the trick. You want to preview it and then adjust it as you go because we want it to line up just right. So I'm clicking F5 so we can see what this code's going to look like on this page. F5 is going to allow us to preview this in a browser and see what it looks like. Okay, it looks pretty good. So this is the code that I got from Aweber. Notice the white text, the white font looks good on my blue background. And here are the forms. When people click on these, they fill them out and then they'll click this button and it will take them to the confirmation page. So that part's all done. So I had to tell Aweber where I want them to take people when they're all done with this process. So in other words, they fill out the form on the lead capture page. Then they see a little confirmation video explaining that they need to go to their email address. And then that email address has a link and that link takes them to a page that I've designed. Let me show you that page. And I call it my thank you page. Well, Aweber needs to know the address to this page. And so I had to tell Aweber what that page is. In my case, it's a page called thanks.html. In my Aweber settings, when I set up the form, I would have told Aweber, make sure you send people to mydomain.com forward slash thanks.html. So you just need to know the name of your page and the full URL, yourdomain.com slash whatever your thank you page is called, so that Aweber knows where to take people after they confirm and click on that link in the email. And so what I've done here is I've simply designed the thank you page and I'm giving away a free video. And so that's why it says, thanks, here's your free video. So all I've done is create two pages in this funnel. The index page in my case is my lead capture. And then I've created that thank you page and then coordinated it with my autoresponder service. Now, 90 Second Website Builder's members area has a number of landing page or lead capture templates. These are great to get started with because they already have 
everything pretty much in place. All you need to do if you use one of those templates is really go in and just replace this code, especially if you're using Aweber, and I recommend that you do, but you can use any autoresponder service. But if you're gonna be using one of the templates, it makes it a lot easier because all you're gonna do is replace this code with what you've generated in your autoresponder service. So that's basically how to create a funnel or a lead capture page, a squeeze page, landing page, whatever you wanna call it, that's how you set it up, and that's how it works in conjunction with your autoresponder service. So hopefully this short tutorial has given you a good overview of how the sales funnel or lead capture concept works. And you can see that it is quite possible and even quite simple to build your own sales funnel and lead capture system with this software, 90 Second Website Builder.